Do, 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 do. Hey, how's it going? Thanks for visiting. I'm Nancy Gammon, and I'm just getting ready to do an ice dyeing experiment. Viewer Marion Paulson asked what brand dye I use, and this is a really important question because different kinds of powder dye have different techniques and yield different results. So in this video, I'm going to compare two kinds of popular and readily available powder dye, RIT and Procyon. So get ready for the RIT versus Procyon smackdown, which I'm pretty sure is some kind of a sports term. So let's get going. I'm starting with two pieces of white 100% cotton muslin fabric. Following the manufacturer instructions, the fabric for the RIT dye is just damp with plain water, and the fabric for the Procyon dye has been soaked in a soda ash solution for at least 10 minutes. In both cases, I'm just going to do kind of a casual crumple up of the fabric into a little abstract blob. And then I'm going to put them onto a rack and cover it with a damp rag, a makeup remover towelette, just to help prevent spotting. The powder dye doesn't always turn completely to liquid during the melting process, and so having a little rag will just help keep things neat. Now, in both cases, I'm going to cover them with ice. And for the RIT dye, I've tried to choose colors that were similar for each but they're not going to match exactly schmackly since they are different manufacturers. Uh, so for the RIT dye, I have, let's see, I have Scarlet, and I'm just gonna sprinkle on a hearty dose here of the powdered dye on top of the ice. And I have Denim Blue and I would recommend wearing a dust mask while you're doing this, just to not be breathing in the powdered dye. And then for the last color is dark green. Okay, that looks like a good mess. Now for Procyon, I have Chinese red. And you can see maybe that the, kind of the consistency of the dye is a little bit different. The, the RIT is more grainy. Um, and the Procyon is kind of almost more moist. And then I also have a nautical navy for the blue. Actually, I'm just going to get rid of what's left in there. And then the green that I'm using is avocado. Okay, so in both cases, we're gonna leave the project overnight just to let the ice melt and the powder to turn to liquid and the color to seep into the fabric. So I'm gonna let these sit just as is for about 22 hours. Knock, knock, who's there? Ice. Ice who gazoom tight. <laughs> Let's take a look at how these experiments turned out. It may be a little difficult to see while the fabric is still damp. It looks like it's pretty dark. Um, but this is the RIT piece. You can see some lovely reds and blues in here. The finishing instructions for the RIT process is to take a half a bottle of this RIT Colorstay dye fixative and mix it in three gallons of hottest water. And then just stir and stir for 20 minutes to get the dye fixed in there. Rinse it with cold water until the water runs clear. 
Then wash it in warm water with a mild detergent, rinse and dry. So I'm very curious to see how this piece turns out. It looks like there's some neat little squiggly details in there. I'm just going to wipe down my surface here real quickly before we look at the results of the Procyon. And it looks like I didn't get my protective fabric covering it very well. I think we're going to get some spots on this piece. So the finishing instructions for the Procyon die is to rinse it in cold water until the water runs clear and then wash it in hot water with textile detergent to get out any remaining loose dye. And then soak it in a sploosh of retain dye fixative in warm water for 20 minutes and then rinse and dye, dry, excuse me. So here's the Procyon. See a lot of blue, got some splooshies here from the green avocado that have spotted. So we'll see whether those uh, rinse out or not. So I'll take care of both of those pieces of fabric and show you the final results. What do you call a lovely display of ice dyed fabrics? I don't know what. A diorama. <laughs> Here's the finished piece of fabric that was dyed with RIT. When I first unfolded it, there were areas that were a crisp bright white where the dye had not gone. But in the process of setting it with the fixative, the colors really bled into each other. And so the areas that were white are now kind of a pale red. The overall effect is soft and muted and there's a, a pretty narrow value range, so there isn't the lightest light or darkest dark. Everything's kind of in that middle area. Here's the piece that was dyed with Procyon. I certainly have dyed prettier pieces of fabric in my life, but this test piece does show the wide value range that you get with this dye. So there is the brightest white and there's a really deep dark and a lot going on in between value wise. The color also has kind of an intensity or an aliveness to it. It feels brighter. Um, so here's the two pieces side by side so you can compare the effects that you get with RIT and Procyon. Which do you prefer? Thanks for the question, Marion. Keep experimenting, and I'll see you next time. Do 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 do